Hi, and welcome to Beatle Days Beatles channel. Today's video is episode four of my Apple Records album series. So please, come and join me. So hello and welcome to Beetle Days Beatles channel today. Hope I find all you fantastic people doing really well out there and thank you so much for joining me again on the channel. Well the subject for today's showing is episode 4 of my Apple Records album series and it's moving on to the Jackie Lomax LP Is This What You Want which is a really really fantastic album and sadly didn't chart very well at the time even though it had plenty of Beatles involvement on the tracks and of course it was produced by a certain Mr George Harrison. So in this series I've decided to show each album in release date order as well as showing any additional USA or reissue pressings and 8 tracks too. So obviously I won't be showing any solo Beatles albums just the other artists that were actually signed to Apple Records with the dedicated UK and USA releases. Okay now so right it's time for something a little bit different it's So yes, welcome to Ask Beatle Dave, where I'll be answering your questions that you have about anything Beatles related, about any Beatles item, about anything you have to ask me, and I'll endeavour to answer it for you in a future episode. So today's question is from Edward Russell. Hi Edward, hope you're doing really well my friend. And he asks, Beatle Dave, do you collect any other Apple singles by other artists? And the answer to that is, Absolutely yes I do, and I have been collecting those for many many years and it's certainly not an easy task to collect all the UK 45s in picture covers, especially in great condition. So actually I've got around 80% of the UK ones, and actually I also collect the USA Apple 45s too, with a really nice collection at the minute, and I've probably got nearly all of those, probably about 90 or percent of those. So Edward, I really hope that answers your question for you. Now guys, if you want to contribute to Ask Beatle Dave, just send me a question in the comments and I'll put it in a future episode. It's that simple. So come on guys, please please me by getting involved and ask me some fantastic question. Okay now of course we're going to be moving on and it's time for... So yes, it's on to them old shout outs. And firstly, there's two very special shout outs for a couple of very big supporters of this channel. Firstly, Michael Rice for sending me an absolutely fantastic REM Monster Deluxe box set, which is absolutely tremendous. And actually my car at the minute getting played to death, but I haven't actually played the DVD yet, but it's fantastic. Not forgetting David Rainey, who sent me some fabulous Ringo and Dark Horse 45s. So a very big thank you to both of you guys you're both legends in your own lunchtime. So thank you both very much. So also a big Beatle Dave hi to Matthew Buzzle. Hi Matthew, hope you're well. Michael Harrington, Tony Giles, Mark Fogden, that's Jack's dad, Pete Terry, Angie the Beatles girl, and David Barron. So that's a big hi to you guys from yours truly, Beatle Dave. So on to the main event then today, and it's episode four of my Apple Records album series, and the Jackie Lomax album, Is This What You Want? So please, come and join me. Is This What You Want? is an album by the Liverpudlian singer Jackie Lomax, which was released on Apple Records on the 21st of March 1969 in the UK, and two months later in the USA on the 19th of May. Jackie Lomax first met the Beatles while performing in Liverpool and Hamburg in the early 1960s as the lead singer of the band The Undertakers. Initially Jackie had signed to Apple Publishing in 1967 as an in-house songwriter recording his demos at the original Apple headquarters in Baker Street. It was actually John Lennon who was first to suggest he should consider becoming a solo artist on their label. George committed to produce 
and after he had returned from India, both he and Jackie had rehearsals at George's Isha Bungalow. With George on acoustic and Jackie on bass, they ran through songs like Harrison's Sour Milk Sea, Speak to Me and Is This What You Want, which were Lomax's own compositions. Proper sessions began at Abbey Road in June 1968 and continued through the summer in between George working on the White Album. While working alone at Trident, Jackie was invited down the hall to a Beatles session to add backing vocals to Dear Prudence and again, on another occasion, to add backing vocals to Hey Jude. Songs recorded so far included Sour Milk Sea and The Eagle Laughs at You, which were also the A and B side of his debut 45. Contributions by guest musicians included Eric Clapton, Ringo Starr, Nicky Hopkins, Klaus Foreman and Paul McCartney, although much of these London sessions would be unused. In October, after completion of the White Album, Harrison and Lomax travelled to LA to carry out further work into November and producing seven songs, with six of them being included on the album. Back in London, recording continued from December into January until completion. It was during the Beatles' Get Back sessions that George had even considered giving his new composition, Something, to Lomax because of Lennon and McCartney's lack of enthusiasm for the song. Sadly, the album did not perform well in the UK or the USA. Lomax's lack of chart success completely baffled the Beatles as Jackie had a very distinctive voice with good potential of turning its owner into a superstar. Apple Promotions manager Tony Bramwell stated, We tried and tried to make the album a commercial success. The material was great, but we just couldn't get it to fly. It looked good, sounded good, and didn't work. So let's take a look. So here is then the Jackie Lomax album, Is This What You Want, released on Apple Records at Core 6 Mono on the 21st of March 1969, and virtually all the tracks written by Jackie himself, of course, except Sour Milk Sea, which was written by George Harrison. And that was also released as a single in the UK, and it done really well, actually, that single. It's a great, great song and a really great performance. You had three Beatles on that particular song as well, of course. But sadly, the album, it suffered greatly. It didn't hit the UK album charts at all, and it virtually sold nothing at all. Now the actual sleeve design as well was by Jackie Lomax with photos by Richard Imry. So let's take a look at the cover first then. Obviously as I said this is the mono edition. Really really hard to find this particular record. Very very difficult. A little bit of laminate lift as we got there on the left hand side. Obviously a lot of the Apple ones seem to suffer with that. Absolutely brilliant condition though this one. Really really nice. Lovely laminate on this. So let's just turn that over. Once again, as I said, this is designed by Jackie Lomax's sleeve, so he obviously got involved in quite a lot of the production and the sleeve. Great looking sleeve. And then the bottom right, we've got Apple Records there. Got more of that laminate lift, as you can see there on the side. Really, really difficult to get a mint condition one of this. And then we've got that spine. Is this what you want, Jackie Lomax there? Mono. Apcore 6. So onto the printed inner. This is the very first printed inner to be with any Apple release. And you've got the catalogue number there, stereo and mono catalogue number top right. With side one and side two tracks there. You've got the publishing details. Some words of wisdom there by Derek Taylor and Jackie himself. With the list of musicians that helped out on the album and plenty of other credits there and where the recordings were this is in great shape this one blank on the back so onto the vinyl then and this was actually the very final uk mono edition apple record that ever was released and it's also a dedicated mono mix on this particular album as well that's a great looking label this is in really good shape this one looking really nice You've got the sold in UK details there across the top of the label with the Is This What You Want and Jackie Lomax there underneath that. And at nine o'clock you've got 33 and a third 
and manufactured in the UK with side one. And at three o'clock there, you've got Apcor 6 with the P1969 and all the tracks there at the bottom of the label. The matrix on side one is Apcor 6A-1. So let's just flip that over and spin that round. So once again, you've got the sold in UK details there across the top with the is this what you want and Jackie Lomax details below that. And then at nine o'clock, you've got the 33 and a third with the manufactured in the UK and side two. And at three o'clock, you've got Apcor 6 with the circle P 1969. Really gorgeous looking album, this one, fantastic. Really does sound so great as well. And the matrix on side two is Apcor 6B-1. So on to the stereo edition then of Is This What You Want by Jackie Lomax, released on Apple Records Sapcor 6 Stereo on the 21st of March 1969. So let's take a look at this sleeve then. Not as much laminate lift as the mono version. Still looks really, really great though, this one. Got a really fantastic laminate shine on these. Really nice. But as you can see on the spine again, we've got that particular laminate lift right by the spine. So obviously a bit of a fault with these ones. Still looks great though. It's a really nice sleeve. And then we've got that Apple Records there, bottom right. And let's take a look at that spine. So on to the printed inner then, it's exactly identical to the mono one, being that you've got the mono and the stereo numbers there, exactly identical. All the track list in there with the publishing details underneath, a little essay by Derek and Jackie with all the musicians, and then the final credits at the bottom. This one's in good shape. So on to the stereo vinyl then, Once again, we've got a lovely looking vinyl here. Really nice and sharp, nice and shiny. It's a great looking label too. These early Apple ones are, although quite dark, they are still really good looking labels. You've got the sold in UK details there across the top of the label with the, is this what you want? And Jackie Lomax below that. Once again, at nine o'clock, you've got the 33 and a third with the manufactured in the UK and side one. And at nine o'clock, you've got the detailed stereo with the Sapcore 6 number and the P1969. The matrix on this side being Sapcore 6A-1. And flipping that over, same details once again. You've got the sold in UK there at the top with the Is This What You Want and Jackie Lomax there above the spindle hole with the 33 and a third manufactured in the UK and side two at nine o'clock with the stereo Sapcor 6 and the P1969 there at three o'clock. And the matrix on side two is Sapcor 6B-1. Really great mix. I do like both mixes actually, the mono and the stereo. I feel that the mono one is maybe slightly more punchy, but they're still both great mixes. So on to the next edition then of Jackie Lomax's Is This What You Want? This is the USA version, which is completely sealed. And this was released on Apple Records ST3354 on the 19th of May, 1969. Only reached 145 on the American charts, which is pretty poor to say the least. And actually on this particular version, the song How Can You Say Goodbye has been removed and New Day has been substituted, which was a single around about the same time. So let's take a look at the album then. As you can see, it's quite shiny. With that shrink wrap, it makes it really, really hard to see. But top left there, you've got the catalog number with the sleeve being exactly the same as the British counterpart. Got those brief holes there, just above, is this what you want? Let's flip that over. Once again, 
exactly the same as the British counterpart. And of course on the inside you'll have that printed inner as well. And then bottom right we've got the catalogue number and Apple Records with some more information there, bottom left. And then we've got that spine. So the next item then is this USA original 8-track cassette released on the same day as the album on the 19th of May 1969. The catalogue number on the 8-track is 8XT3354 and these are getting so collectible now especially to find sealed. I mean these are like 50 years plus so these are incredibly rare. So let's just take a look around the 8-track then. As you can see, you've got program one, two, three, and four with the Apple logo there with the catalog number and the Apple 8-track stereo. You've got the Apple 8-track stereo there on the top. And then on the bottom of the tape, Jackie Lomax, is this what you want? And the catalog number. And there's the sides. And the reverse of the tape. With a target sticker on really fantastic these eight tracks really love collecting these so the final edition of jackie lomax's is this what you want i've got to show today is this uk reissue from the 19th of november 1991 and was part of the apple reissue campaign catalog number sapcore six and also there's another number under that which is one six four seven nine double seven eight four one and also a barcode which is zero zero seven 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 nine seven seven eight four one six so we're going to take a look at the sleeve first then it's got quite a nice shine on on this particular edition which is a bit more than what some of the other sleeves have got actually much more effective and then on the reverse you've got that barcode and then you've also got the numbers for CDs and tapes, and you've got a Made in United Kingdom sticker there. That's a genuine UK one. And you've got all the copyright details from 1991. And EMI, there's a sort of embossed EMI logo there with next to the Apple. And the great thing about these is that these are fantastic gatefold sleeves really really nice you've got all the tracks there with the bonus 12 inch single some information and some photos there some releases information there and musicians fantastic stuff let's just take a look at that spine as well Jackie Lomax is this what you want and the catalogue number So just a plain white inner there. Unbelievably, it's got the 1972 or 1972 on this particular one, which is a bit bizarre. It's a bit of a strange thing. So onto the vinyl then. And this is record one. This is the main album. And that's a really great looking label. It's quite reminiscent of the early 70s Apple Records labels actually from the UK. But it actually started to get a bit lighter and you can actually read all the text, fully read the text at the time. And on these as well, you can fully read everything that's on the label. Obviously, if you haven't got side one or side two written in English, then you've got one of the European imports, which was about at the time. But these UK press ones are incredibly hard to find, really hard to find. And this one's absolutely immaculate. And the matrix on this side is 7977. 851-A1 and we're going to flip that over it really does sound great these 91 pressings as well really fantastic once again that's a really fantastic looking label really good and the matrix on side 2 is 7977 851-B1 really fantastic so once again, we've got one of those plain white inner sleeves. Certainly nothing to write home about, just basic. 
So on to the final vinyl then, which is the bonus 12 inch single, which runs at 45 RPM. So we've got three tracks on this side, including going back to Liverpool and New Day on there. That's another beautiful looking record. Bit thin again though, bit wobbly. The matrix on this side is 7977861-A1. Really looks great. I'm going to flip that over. And you've got two tracks on this side, thumbing a ride and how the web was woven. Another great looking Apple record there. With the matrix being on the final side, 7977861-B1. Absolute mint condition this one. So thank you all for tuning in today and joining me. Really hope you've enjoyed seeing those fantastic Jackie Lomax albums. And of course, I always appreciate any comments I get from all of you guys around the world. And I'll always come back to you just as soon as I can. So the next Apple Records album series episode, we'll be back again next month with the Ivies and maybe tomorrow. So next week's video, I will be showing the Beatles World Records 8 LP box set. So make sure you're here same Beatles time, same Beatles channel. So anyway, as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, why not give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. This is Beatle Dave signing off. Beatles, Beatles.